What's up? What's up, everybody? We are back. The Hard Corner Boys, we are finally back with another episode. Everybody, before we continue, hit that link. You know the deal. Support the movement. All that good stuff. Shout out to everybody who's been hitting me up. I get a lot of hits on, on my Instagram and all that. People asking for the episodes. Well, here you go. Shout out for tuning in. We are back. What's today's day? Before we go, I said I was going to do this Wednesday, this January the 17th, 11.09 a.m. What's crackalacking universe and what's crackalacking busky? Yo, yo. Uh, Chilly chilling. Welcome to episode 40. Um, same old shit over here. Just another new year. A lot of cool new stuff came out already in yep. 2024. So <clears throat> I feel like we should do a little wrap up coming up, you know, next episode or two or three. Stop. Give a cool little heads up on some new stuff that's been, uh, you know, coming out in 2024. But uh, aside from that, same old, same old, my man. You know the deal. Yeah, yeah. I seen snow all over the spot. Everywhere is snowing. Not over here in sunny South Florida, but um, definitely a lot of new music, a lot of stuff. Definitely, I want to do the wrap up thing. I want to. Um, I got a couple people I want to get together, and it's good. It's never too late to wrap up last year. So much shit happened last year. Forget about it. That. Anyway, it's a where yeah. heavy music is in a good spot. Let's just say that. Yes, and uh, and even before we continue, I want to shout out Blackout Records, and I want everybody go to Blackout Records right now. Not only are they still one of the staples in the scene, they're right now putting out a whole bunch of co collective vinyl, color vinyl, all the OG stuff to kill your idols, outbursts, sheer terror. Look at that. Go get that right now. BlackoutRecords.com. Busky, you got a bunch of them. We're going to be doing giveaways. As a matter of fact, right now, if you screenshot the screen with the Blackout logo right there and you post it and tag us, we're going to send you that album, all right? So there the first go. people to get that up, we're going to send you a free record. When I say free, I mean free. Shout out to Blackout Records for telling us to go give away those vinyls and make sure you go support them because... They still got their pulse on this. Yo, shout out to Bill Wilson and all the whole crew there. So, hell yeah. But definitely go peep them out and some cool vinyls, right? I know. Like, yeah, you know, absolutely. I'm running through them, I was like, man, I, I felt like a kid again. So, it's a lot of classic. Yep. Yep. So, uh, now, there's something to be said about getting a package in the mail. <clears throat> I still get them to this day. You know, I still buy records and tapes and CDs and shit. And there's, you never outgrow that excitement of seeing that package in your front doorstep. So yeah, shout out to Bill Wilson for holding it down on that. Yeah, for sure. And go right now, blackout. They got a bunch of sales and a whole bunch of other stuff. But um, right now we were just talking about this. This is actually going down this week, right? Long Island. You got Connecticut's finest. I like to call them New York North. <laughs> because that's Yankee territory. Wayne knows what I'm talking about. Shout out to Haybreed and the, and, and the whole fam. Amityville yeah. Music. Well, shout out to Amityville Music Hall also for always looking out and always giving the heavy music a, a place to, you know, to do that thing. Busky, talk to me. Four days of Haybreed sold yeah. out. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> you can't beat it. Starting yeah. tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days. Um, I know Amityville Music Hall is closing down for a little bit to do renovations. Okay. So I think this is a perfect way to sort of get a little uh, demo crew in there to, you know, maybe tear the walls down and break yeah. the stage apart for them. But uh, I, I don't see how this place is going to be able to stand after four days of hate breed. So, um, <clears throat> you know, the renovations will reopen and you'll have a nice new Amityville Music Hall. And uh, yeah, man, you got. The first night with um, <clears throat> Johnny Booth. I'm not sure who that is, but yeah. I'm sure they're pretty cool. January 18th. And then the 19th with Internal Bleeding. Uh, the 20th with Tension. And the 21st with Pain of Truth. So, yeah. man, that's going that, all those days got something, man. So, yeah, definitely a banger. And, and shout out to Scanlon. <clears throat> yep. And shout out to Scanlon, you know, uh, the new breed of Long Island. Not so new anymore, but. It's definitely amazing to just see this place. You know, I've been here now 10, 15 years, something like that. So it's very cool just to see the generation shift. But, um, you know, this looks like a show that we obviously would have gone to 20 years ago when it was happening on Long Island. So the more things change, the more they stay the same. And a lot of that, you know, is is obviously our people here that have been taking care of shit. But now, you know, some of this newer guys like Scanlon who, uh, you know, are picking up on everything that everybody else put down before him. So. 
and, and shout out to uh, the scene for still selling out these shows for the OGs. And shout out to the OGs for still playing these shows like that. Because Hey Breeze is one of those bands that yeah. don't play one day with Metallica. The next day, they're, you know, they're, they're ripping some VFW hall, you know, yep. down, you know, whatever. You know, always shout out to Hey Breeze. You know the deal. That's family business right there. And oh, shout yeah. out to Pain of Truth for representing the East Coast, the new blood, you know, giving, you know, the the, the New York hardcore part of uh, of, of the scene. Uh, you know, they're the perfect representation. I said that before, yeah. so shout out to them. We're going to get them on the show soon, too. But again, shout out to Long Island. Shout out to Hey Breed. Yo, Long Island's representing. Long Island, yeah. yo. New York City, you better start thanking Long Island because yeah. Long Island's going to keep things <laughs> alive. And, no, it's uh, true. And it's cool because that's, you know, there's the Amityville, which is a little bit on the smaller side. And then you've got the Paramount, which is on the bigger side, yeah. you know. And then even out east, there's other venues that, you know, have the more medium size. So, yeah, Long Island is uh is definitely in a good spot right now for sure. For sure. So shout out to them and um also this week or well not this week what is this next week going down next week we got uh, the annual my brother Rico I love you the bo boss sound system we got the annual hooligan holiday there's two nights we got a video but not yet but um look at there's two nights go get your tickets if you ain't got tickets already the first night. It's 10 bucks the second night, 35 bucks. But listen, this is what you're going to get. First night at the Middle East, upstairs, you got, oh, it's a suit and booted. Look at, I've done this. Mad Boy, when I was in the band, played it many years ago. It's everybody, no bum shit. Everybody dresses up. Everybody's there to represent. Everybody's there to have a good time. Drink water, drink whiskey. Whatever it is, you're drinking together. Family business. This is how we're doing and having a good time. My brother Rico. You ain't going to beat him when it comes to spinning soul. You ain't going to beat him when it comes to spinning dance soul. You ain't going to beat him when it comes to spinning even freestyle. You know what's up, Rico. Stress the white boy. Ruben, you already know. Doc Martin sound system. That's family business. Good music. Night one is for the ladies and the gentlemen, <laughs> I would say. You know, yeah. you get dressed up. You can have your drinks. Yeah. You can shake your ass. Now we go to night two. This is for the degenerates. Okay, what do we got night two, Busky? Let them know. Night two, Paradise Rock Club, thirty-five bucks. Uh, very cool. Another legendary Boston venue. The night after Middle East. Um, starting off with Powerhouse, Chris Powerhouse and the Boys. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. shout out to Powerhouse. You know, holding it down. Um, Violent Way from Buffalo. Name I'm sure a lot of people have been familiar with recently. Um, Marauder featuring Minus. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Battle Ruins from Boston, which is very cool because um, this was a band that was never even supposed to play a show, from what I understand. And, uh, you know, they've done a few shows here and there, and they're very select, I believe, on the shows they do play. So very cool to see them on this and uh, Templars, you know, which is, a you know, obviously a oh, classic. Geez. So, yeah, really cool <laughs> to everybody. Um, They've been doing the, uh, my My brother's been spinning. For years and i don't know what, what ins installation of the hooligan holiday this is but it's been going on for a while it's it's a real good time to go out you know the one day you get to wear your best and you get to hear good music and just break bread the second day same thing good music but maybe you don't gotta wet you can leave the tuxedos and the you know the pork pie hats at home and then bring yeah. the knock mark but look at that flyer the flyer is dope yeah whoever did that flyer killed it and um, I never been there. The Paradise Rock Club. You ever been there, Busky? I think so. You know what the funny thing is, is? I think I saw Morrissey there once. Let's, let's keep that low next time. Let's try to edit yeah. that part. <laughs> <laughs> I have no shame. I'm I'm one of those guys. It's all good. <laughs> I have no shame in saying that. But uh, I don't know if it was there or Avalon or definitely one of those other uh, you know spots aside from one. Middle East. But uh, I want to say that I have been there. Who did this flyer? Whoever did I don't know, flyer. but it's great. Yeah, it's a good, really, really good flyer. Super cool. Very simple and effective, man. You know, I mean, it's let the illustration speak. You don't need to go crazy with all the, the band logos. As cool as band logos are, you know, look at that. You don't need it. I mean, that, yeah. that flyer is just incredible. Yeah, yeah, just that artwork. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's the vibe. The whole show is the star. Yeah. You know what I mean? And especially yeah. at a hooligan holiday thing. And shout out to, 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 to Packer. You know, Packer's out there. You know, from meathead to promoter. See how we yeah. did, how our gorillas yeah. work? 
Shout out to <laughs> I I love it. Shout out to the fam holding it down. Boston. Boston's a second yeah. home. You know, Massachusetts is a second home for us. As much as fuck the Red Sox, it's always been our second home. You, yeah. you know what's up. You know, I got a lot of love. All our families up there. I love playing yeah. this. So probably one of the best just overall music cities. You know, Massachusetts in general, you know, best yeah. music uh, vibe and just everything about it. You know, shout out to them. And man, yeah. th this is one that um I was trying to show up to. But, um, you know, I got caught up. I got some other stuff. We're going to be filming for the my new um cannabis travel show, the heavy collective around that time. So I won't be able to make it. But shout out to everybody who's there. Make sure to shake your ass and buy yeah. some merch for me. That's what you yeah. can do. Support the we show. got a cool little promo video to help add right. to a little, you know, anybody that's not familiar with some of these bands, <clears throat> uh, our buddy Mike Distal Camp, who did a bunch of the, you know, the B and B bowl videos back in the day. Uh, he jumped on board and and helped make a cool video. So Gator hit him with that video. And just so everybody knows too, this is open to the public. You know, it's <clears throat> it's it's definitely not a closed invite, it's an open invite. So uh, you know, if this looks in enticing to you, then definitely come out and hang and, you know, get a fix of some good music and good tunes. Yeah, okay, hit, hit him with that video. See what's up. This is like part of um of our scene that um lately I guess because the heavy part kind of got so big that this kind of got tucked back in the bottom. So I'm glad when Rico does this, he kind of reminds everybody like, "Yo, you remember? Like you remember yeah. this? This is us too." And it's ref I I just got happy watching that little promo. Just kind of the vibe, yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's a vibe. It's a time. You know, it's it's go to the hooligan holiday. Absolutely. Saturday, January 27th. Go both nights. Take your lady. Boston, Massachusetts. You know the deal. Yes. Hell yeah. And, we, and then we got, and this is something that's been crack lacking. I've been noticing a lot going on in, in, in the land next door. Shout out to all our Canadian family out there listening. The Montreal Madhouse. Yeah. Listen, this is a crazy uh, Bill, and let me just tell you from the sound that um Canada's putting out right now, I want to say probably some of the heaviest shit that's coming out as far as the down tuned um beat down part of this music. I think um softest band in Montreal is like a nuclear bomb. Everything I've been hearing out of there is like beyond brutal. I'm like, yo, where where were these people getting it from? They got free yeah. health care and everything. How could they be so angry? They got <laughs> in the world. Shout out to sucks no matter where you are, apparently. Yeah, exactly. But listen, let's start. I'll read some of these bands off from the bottom up. You got better English than me, Busky. What do we got? First of all, yeah. at, at my favorite club in Montreal. Yeah. Yep. Fufun Electric. If those streets could talk. On that down set doggy dog mad ball tour. No oh boy. I those were the days. Let's just say yeah. that uh, Chateau de Sex or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it be, you know the deal. But yeah. uh but yeah, we, Montreal's a great place, man. It really is. Yeah, yeah, no, but um listen, Canada only had one of the, the best scenes, you know, in the old scene, especially the East Coast from Toronto to Montreal has always been like a second home for especially New York hardcore. There's always been a yeah. connection and just that style, that vibe, 
whatever it be. It's like the land next door that speaks that speaks fucking French yeah. Canadian. But yeah. uh, who do we got there? Go start from the bottom up, Busky. Gives these people uh, some- Montreal Madhouse. Yeah. <clears throat> cool thing about this is I really don't know most of these bands, you know, and that's kind of why also I wanted to touch on it was because there's there's clearly a ton of bands out there, especially overseas, over border, over, you know, yonder, wherever that may be. So uh, starting off, Verify. Um, looks like Mulch, a uh, band called Glint, um, Cross Check, which I have heard of, Total Nada, um, Pale Ache, possibly, Death that, that Now. That is dope, by the way. That Pale Ache? How dope is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah I like cool. that one. That one's pretty original. Yep. I want, and that's the thing is now it's like, you know, I got to go on Spotify. I got to do the research or Bandcamp or some of these places, and I got to put in the work and find out who these bands are, you know. And to me, that's yeah. part of what makes, you know, this show happen every single week and just life. This is, you know, the life of a hardcore nerd. But uh, yeah, that's a dope logo. Death Nap, uh, Freezer Burn, another kind of cool graffiti ish metal logo. Freezer Burn, Cloned Apparition. I thought it's same block. Abortion. I was like, yo, that might be a good name too. Yo, with a cloned abortion <laughs> from fucking Montrizzle. Yeah, my drizzle. Uh, chain block, cool band. Definitely, I've heard of them. Um, Dead Bolt, cool logo. Not sure what that one is. The other graffiti one. Um, what's Scar- this one? Scaramanga. Scaramanga. Possibly, yeah. And then what do we got? Nuke. We got yeah. Reality Denied. We got Friction. Um, and a band called Puffer, which I did check out just because that logo and name I had to, Puffer. and, uh, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's just punk hardcore, you know? And then that, that's, what's cool about a lot of this shit is you might see the logo and think, what the fuck is this going to sound like? And then you yeah. play it and it, it blows your mind. Yeah. Um, uh, bruiser weight, another cool, obviously, uh, you know, you got that Lonsdale ripoff logo. You kind of know what you're getting with that. Uh, apes, which is a pretty cool band that it's been around for a minute. Apes, that's what a great yep. I want to join. Get me yep. down. They've been around for a minute. Definitely have seen their name around on some cool flyers. Um, and then I think this is Scorching Tomb. Yeah. It's cool, and that man. was one that I definitely checked out, which was very cool. You know, death metal. Uh, this new version of death metal. Stigmatism, who we've touched upon before. Uh, amazing record they put out last year. Definitely made it in my personal top 10. So yeah. definitely check out Stigmatism. Uh, plus minus they've been around for a minute up there you know montreal ogs mill spec which is a pretty cool bigger name nowadays and a very cool skinhead you know oi band benton arma so so benton arma uh, uh skinhead band yeah they're like a french oi oh um, wow you know, french oi band, which is very cool yeah and that's what's amazing about this is it's montreal for real you know like this is yeah. For sure. I've been going up there, you know, like you for t- two decades at this point. Yeah. And this is why I always love going up there because it wasn't just one sort of you know, generic thing. You know, these guys really just they've got it figured out and they've got their own cool thing up there and they've made a way of merging it all together and they all play nicely. And uh, yeah. this is awesome, man. I really love to see this. And like you, I love the club, the venue. It's yeah. just a staple. This is the way that, I, you know, 20, 30 years now of paying attention to this is the way Montreal should be, you know, yeah. holding it down. Exactly. And then for, for a little uh, history for everybody, um, this club has been, you know, had, I, I, ju- I could just speak for myself. We've been going playing um, um, the Foof since um, 94. So sure. they, they, they're the staple. They, they really that's that's like the CBGB to me of Montreal. I don't care what they say over there for me. That's what it was. But shout out to them and shout out to the whole scene out there for still keeping yeah. it. Um. Uh, the, the 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 roots of all the the branches of our tree from the punk the the the, the metal part to the the the, skin, the whole skin you know the oi yeah. boom Ma- Montreal Madhouse shout out to them I hope to get back there soon too yeah no doubt shout out to lifers no doubt yeah, for sure and we were just talking about this killing the scene we got a couple uh, of labels killing the scene right now for that hardcore shit um we got the LDBBB fast right here. 2024. This thing is stacked to the gills. Louisville, Kentucky. Um, first of all, Louisville, you know, they always had a music scene. Yes. Yep. Um, was it super big for hardcore? No, but there was always a hardcore band from if it was Stretch Armstrong. I remember being, I want to say from Kentucky. Shout out to them. There was always 
it was there. Yeah. <laughs> there was the end points. There was the by the grace of God. You know, there was the Enkindles, maybe. And, and, and we were lucky to get them because they, since they were part of the, you know, the scene, they would, they got known from touring outside of Kentucky. You know, being able, yeah. being fans that took it to the next level. Um, I got to go there throughout the years, little by little. But throughout the year, last bunch of years, they became one of the homes for heavy music, not just yeah. hardcore, but everything. And it's amazing because um. The people that did show up in Louisville, like the real people say, in Louisville, Kentucky, they were all real. Like, they loved it. Like, you know, they were, you know, the whole everything about it. Maybe it was a location thing at the time or whatever. But, man, look at what they got here. Yeah. Look, I, how many nights is this? It's two nights, March 22nd and 23rd. But get the tickets now because this is going to sell out, I guarantee you, if it ain't sold out already. But, um. Look, at, I'm just going to go up from the bottom up real quick for everybody. Listen, two witnesses, Missing Link, um, Heads Will Roll, Soul Blind, dope name. Yeah. Um, Surfaced, Inclination, Gridiron, dope, Big Boy, shout out to Big Boy. These are like, I'm going up, down, the different Big Boys doing their thing. Scarab, um, End of Sanity, um, um, Bomora, M. Spain. That's how you say that? Oh, Miss Paint. MS Paint, maybe. MS Paint, yeah, Domain, Ends of Sanity, Apex Predator. That's just like the, I don't want, that's just the, the, the lower tier. And that's yeah. back to the gills. Then we got, read off the top tier of this. This, this is the, the the prelims, and then this is the main card right here. Yep. Uh, Weapon, cool straight edge band that's popping off recently. Uh, that's the Sangasuga Bog logo, I'm pretty sure. Hey, that's uh, that's of I learned that. They are genius with that crazy ass scribble scrabble because I know exactly who they are. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Somehow we recognize that as a yeah, logo no, I, I can't say the name, but I know it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I did my uh, research on them too. The, the name actually was one of the guitarists or some in the other part, man, like Devil or some shit. So it was like something and the dude's last name. So oh, really. Like, yeah, it was like something to that day, but I did my research because they they're killing it. They're dope. But I was wondering. So the like, name actually has some sort of uh, like actual he gave his name, like something. Ba ba ba. So yeah, actually yeah. meant. Something. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. So shout out yeah. to them. Yeah, no uh, doubt. So we got right here the the, the killer, the young guns over here. Pain of Truth, yeah, and, and to think that you know, I mean, you watch a Pain of Truth set now, and it's like a religious experience for some of these people. So, and there they are in the middle of this lineup. So this, you know, this is an insane lineup. But uh, Pain of Truth, One Step Closer, Never Ending Game, Mind Force, Military Gun, Koyo, uh, King Nine, Crazy, um, Harm's Way, Gates to Hell, Fiddlehead, Anxious, Angel Dust, Insane. And yeah, and then you got the top tier of Twitching Tongues, Obituary, Tsunami, and Hatebreed. Yeah, crazy. How crazy. That's pretty stacked, man. Yeah, it's definitely stacked. Louisville, you're right, though. I think you know, you were talking about it, and I was thinking of Louisville history, and they definitely had they had that whole crazy fest scene. You remember the crazy fest back in the nineties? Yeah. And that was it was always a softer yeah. More melodic hardcore, more Midwest hardcore, nothing too tough and heavy. And then as you're talking about this, I'm thinking like, where did it get heavy? And I might have been the, the whole knocked loose thing, you know, yeah. like they really put Louisville on the map, you know, yeah. and it's now been a few years. They've done their thing. They've built this fest up, you know, and it's a it's now a, a massive fest. And you look at this lineup and it's like, damn, you know, you got hate breed obituary and, you know, I'm a plenty of hardcore heavy hitters underneath that so shout out to them for building this thing shout out to louisville for being there and having their time and day and reinventing and you know this is what you're supposed to do let the old generation sort of pass it on and mm -hmm. let the new generation pick it up and run with it so yeah for sure and we were saying triple b doing that thing and look at who they're getting that they're definitely keeping yeah. it um, variety fresh and sexy Shout out to obituary twitching tongues everybody tsunami yeah. a mix of stuff a lot of stuff yeah. going on and we got something else going on. We got some pretty cool. This is March 30th, 2024 in Philadelphia. My old bet. Everybody who's been asking me, I will not be playing it, but all love to them and everything. They asked me. I'm just caught up. I got too much stuff going on at the moment, but I heard a bunch. We were actually trying to get Cheeky on right now, but he got caught up at work. We're going to get him on later in the week. Um. I heard a bunch of the new, the, the new recordings. It sounds great. 
Um, you got to check them out. Demise. This was my first band. They're back. Um, they're doing a, a couple songs off the demo. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but I know they've been jamming. So that should be cool. And they're playing with our, our family. You already know Fury of Five. Fury Five, first of all, they are back. <laughs> they I, I thought they were just gonna do a couple one offs, but I know you know they're on fire now. They ain't stopping, it seems like. So um, but it was good to see them because um we these are about you know, we grew up, you know, demise in the early days. We used to play with um Stickman's old band, Position of Power, and then later on he got into Fury and blah blah blah. So we always we always played together, you know, even yeah. later years or whatever, but um Dope ass flyer, and yep. it's at the Salty Beach Bar in Lake Como, New Jersey. Mad people been playing here. I never got to play it. Have you ever yep. went there, Husky? Nope, never even, uh, never been there. Yeah, <laughs> I've been seeing people play there, and it looks like a cool spot. And and they seem yeah. to be doing a bunch of shows. So March 30, 25 bucks. We got Tear Gas, Black is Dawn, Discontent, Freight Train. Shout out to them. Combust. Shout out to Combust. Gloves off. And then you got Demise of Fury of Five. 30 years of Fury already. Crazy. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's cool. This is cool to have some uh, OG stuff. And then Fury, keeping it OG. But also, you know, what I love about them, they ain't trying to sit on, you know, what they did 100 years ago. They dropping a whole bunch of new music. They're always yep. writing and tight yep. as fuck as always. And from what I hear, Demise is going to be dropping some new music also. Good. So. That's dope. It's good to see that. It's good to hear music. We just want to flood as much mu music as free. You you buy it, but you know what I mean. You can hear it for free, and you support the bands. But like, it's a it's something that we all get to enjoy on the on online on wherever we could get it. It's a you know it's a privilege we got to fucking hear this shit. Absolutely. Right. Fury of Five, go check that out, everybody and everybody. Again, shout out to everybody who's been tuning in. Um, um. We got a bunch of merch. Anybody who wants to support the show, CasaTheRock.com. Just whatever you cop goes back into the show, making this thing happen. Everything is printed in in house by your boy. Um, and shout out to everybody who's been ordering. Um, let's keep it going. Everything is. We got a lot, a lot of new things about to happen. So bear with us and stay tuned. We're about to set things off 2.0, but we got. Hats. We even got a bunch of smoke AD, um, snapbacks and um stuff online right now. So make sure you go CasaTheRock.com, cop something that's supporting the show. And if you're a bum and got no money, repost, hit the like button, comment, and all that. That's how you support. It. So, Hell yeah! How's things going in the smoke AD stuff? That first week, that first month, and how long's it been? About a month, right? Since it's been it's out. Been about a month. Yo, shout out to again. Yeah. Big shout out to everybody who's been supporting my the, my new band Smoke AD. We got over eleven thousand views on the video, and you know, um, without saying too much, but um, this spring, you know, look out for a full EP. A lot of stuffs in the works. Smoke AD, right there, yep, you see, right there. That's the band. Everybody, go at us right now. Go check out the video. It's on YouTube. Um, download it, buy it, stream yeah. it. Spotify, smoke all day. It's that song go. is the intro to the cannabis show I'm about to drop. So stay shout out to everybody on, on, on the track to make it happen. And I'm I have a lot, a lot, a lot of things happening. Dope. I said the rock records is in the building. Yeah. And and I made it a point this year, I gotta drop a lot of music. So good. That song, I have to say, uh, now that it's been in circulation for a month or however long it's been, the more I hear it, the more it's just, it's a perfect anthem. It really is. It's like it's a simple riff, but it's it sometimes less is more. You know, yeah. you think of ACDC, you know, like that drummer has never played a drum fill in his life, you know? Yeah, exactly. And you don't need, you don't necessarily need every component of a song to be the top of its of its game. You, know, you need a ripping guitar track or a ripping riff. You, you know, sometimes you need to let things sit back yes. and be simple. And to me, you know, I hear that. I hear that whether it's the chorus or any of this stuff, and it's like, man, it's just a, it's a, it's a solid heavy hitter. So again, yeah, congrats man. to you. I Thanks, know it's bro. it's nice when you let things marinate. You know, it's a big That's deal to bro. put them out, and then you got that month or two to sit and let people talk about it and and let it do its thing. So. 
Yeah, no, thanks so for sure. You know, we busted our ass on it. And also for everybody to know, that, that song is actually the title track of my Cannabis Travel show. So obviously it was leaning towards that, you know, right. lyrically for the show and whatever. But I felt it was the perfect introduction of what's yeah. to come. And But that's just the appetizer as we talking. I got yeah. some heavy-duty stuff. I mean, I, I took my groove game to another level. You know, we got all types of stuff that's coming up in the future. Like, I'm really excited on where I'm taking the music. And I'm excited to take everybody with me to hear what's yeah. gonna, what's coming out. Because uh, the hut's getting hot. We're starting some fire yeah. in the hut. <laughs> everybody, I want yeah. everybody to get that contact high. Smoke AD. You know the deal. Hit the link. Add us yeah. and all that. And um, what else we got up? We got up. We got something else. Yeah, we got some new shit. Um New shit from Cleveland. And, you know, you think of Cleveland and instantly. I feel like people think of, you know, the integrities and the uh, the ringworms and the face value and that sort of classic Cleveland, you know, tone, guitar tone riffing. And uh, I don't know. One thing that caught me with this record is it doesn't really sound like that. It's more on the punk side of, you know, hardcore. Um, there's definitely moments, though, where you can hear integrity or Cleveland influence. But overall, it's just a very cool, uh, you know, just dirty, hardcore punk record um, from this band called Slug. And uh, title of the of the the single is um, Barking Dogs, the newest single coming off of this record called Ohio, uh, which will be out, I believe, in like a month on a label called delayed gratification. So I don't know. This is all just sort of just new, at least in my realm. I don't know how old, you know, these bands are or whatever, but uh, again, it's just cool to come across new music from, you know, places like Cleveland where you expect it to sound and be one way, yeah. but it, you know, it isn't. So definitely check that out. And again, real cool artwork and stuff, yeah. you know, again, you know, it's good. <clears throat> Back in the day, you were able to look at a record cover and kind of, you already knew what you were going to get. Now yeah. you don't know what you're going to hit get. So yeah, Shout out to everybody keeping it creative. You know what Definitely. I mean? Yeah. Then we got <clears throat> the OGs and family right here. We got my boys Fahrenheit 451. They got a two song EP. What will you call this? An EP still? Right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess now. Yeah. I don't know what EP. technical EP, a two, a two P. Two P. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, but um, First of all, I, I haven't heard nothing of it, but I already know. You know, these motherfuckers could play. They always got a good swag, dope song. Yeah. And you know it's going to be well produced. The cover's dope, too. It's like yeah. um, kind of on the on the, on the the vein of what we just saw on some real, um, what would you call this, a, a mo modern art-ish? Or what, what's the style called? I don't know, but it's cool as shit. You know, I don't know where yeah. you put that classification was. I want to say that's Jamie York, too, you know, the photographer. I think that's his his artwork uh so definitely check that out too jamie york a uh, great photographer and clearly a pretty amazing artist too that bugged out shit um yeah i would love to get uh we're gonna have to get armando on here and tell us yeah what the hell does this cover mean yeah it, no it's definitely cool and the songs are great to, to you know to your point about the songs that they're just uh it's fahrenheit you know and it's it's really amazing to hear this stuff come they've been around for a minute you know so it's always nice to hear something come out again that's familiar but they've grown you know obviously they're men now they're not yeah. kids and teens or whatever and the music speaks for that i think the energy speaks to that the uh the vocals armando you know he's just on point and it still has just all those those elements that you expect from from fahrenheit you know the hip-hop influence um but just the you know the new york flavor so really cool songs definitely I got to catch up. I've been behind on that. I got to basically the way I catch a lot of these new records and stuff. I make a playlist at the gym and stuff. And then that way I kind of go through them and I have, and I got to get, I got to make a new playlist with a lot of this stuff. But um, I definitely, I didn't even, I got to check this out because I've been wanting to, especially then because I've been a fan, you know, they'll, again, yeah. you know, they, 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 they take pride in their plane in their yep. brand. So I know they were going to do something cool. Same kind of thing. Like how E-Town did no matter what, you know, they drop something. It's going to be, in their vein and they're going to step it up, you know, and do some cool shit. Just curious to see where people are at, you know, style wise and yeah, production wise and all that. So shout out to Fahrenheit. Go cop that there, wherever you could cop that. Um, yep. I don't know if they put it out on a band camp or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's just on Spotify. Uh, yeah. I tried to get a link to a band camp. I didn't see one and um, I came through it, you know, via Spotify. So uh, just, you know, people around, I'm sure you can find it, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely on Spotify. 
and and the next I fuck with this. Look at this. This yeah. is probably the hardest. We got West Texas in the building. Yeah. And I had I think I, I'm I'm pretty sure I I in my past life I was two things. I had a, a fantasy with samurais in Japan, and I have a new fantasy. I've been having a fantasy with Texas, so I think I might have yeah. been. <laughs> they said, we, you know what? I might have to dig up that photo of you, the little yeah, Mary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, it's somewhere in there, but you know, Tiger, yeah. get a Ronin, Ronin's Blade, the new singles out now, West Texas Hardcore. Man, this cover's so dope. Yeah. You know, cool style, cool everything about the style of the band from where they're coming. And, and what's up with Texas? Well, right now, first of all, um, the track Delhi is great. Uh, game is streaming January 17th. Five tracks. West Texas hardcore. Texas yeah. is in the fucking building. I want to know who the hell laid this out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I better get too hard. You know, um, yeah. But um, Texas, man. Um, a lot of new music. It was good to see um um more music besides the main hitters. Like, you know, we got the fugitives out there, we got all that, and, and it's good to see um the next round of yeah coming out of these pl these places and, and where they're taking the sounds you know what i yep. mean no if this is it and this is you know this is it you're hearing it here you're seeing it here first because this is pretty much from the ground up this is the next version of you know texas hardcore and it definitely has that flavor that you know you come to expect when you see texas hardcore on a page you know and uh it's good it's thrashy it's got all that stuff man it's got the chrome eggs influence you know but it's also got the I don't know the nuclear assault or the uh, testament or you know wherever the thrash stuff is coming from too. But it also it also knows how to do a fucking a breakdown, and you know a mosh part or or you know a, a pit part, whatever you want to call it. It's it's great. So um, definitely check this out. Like you said, streaming today. This song, deadliest game, and uh, they're gonna have these five five tracks out soon on a label. So. Keep your ears to the ground. And same thing, they've got a band camp. You can check them out, tigersplitter.bandcamp. And, uh, you yeah. know, I don't know, cool name, cool artwork. I definitely think it deserves a, a shout. And especially when you see the band camps with bands, that's like where one of the few places I think it's still, you know, where the yeah. band can actually see some support from, you know, from a, a platform, a streaming, you know, a company or whatever. So go check them out. It's probably one of the few really the grass grassroots of a band is a band camp kind of thing. Yeah. So um, um, go check them out. Texas, man. Shout out to Texas for representing. And um, and shout out to everybody. Whoever did that cover, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Like yep. And what do we got now? What, what What's next up? Bro? Next, we've got this is actually just so you guys know, this is, you know, some user uh, or um, viewer suggestions. <clears throat> If you do submit your bands, you know, we, they don't go unheard. So this is uh, a little something that came from a buddy, Chris, who, um, you know, a New York hardcore uh, guy that has this very cool band called Total Meltdown. And it's New York style, very New York style with a heavy hip hop influence. And, um, you know, it's kind of in that burn orange nine millimeter groove. Yeah, post, that post, like, you know, uh, um, yeah, it's it's all. It, that's that whole style. Had, it was pretty unique. That whole, you know, the yeah. still tube, the burst. I was. It was like. Um. It almost reminded me of the artwork we just saw. You I know, was just gonna was, say Fahrenheit definitely fits into that category too. Yeah, and just even visually, it makes sense. It's just right. like, you know, almost like these are like jazz bands of the hardcore scene. You know what yes. I mean? Like it just has. It's it's colorful and it's different in its own yep. way, and um, it's cool shit, and um. A lot of influence, and shout out to Chris. Chris is a not only a a a, a, a hardcore um OG. Now you're not, I'm gonna say he's an OG. Now if anybody if you've been around, he's been around for a minute. But um, shout out to him for looking out for the scene and for also taking that hardcore work ethic to the next level. You know what's up? So shout out to Chris. But he's he's in a hundred bands, and he's a yeah. killer. He's a dope drummer, and every time I see him, he's doing something. So, but um. Hip hop influence. Oh, so you see, this is him on guitar. See, yeah, this, this, I know he's yep. a dope drummer and he's playing guitar on this. So, um, but dope, man. You know, I'm a little bit of a hater because I wish I could play drums. So, uh, Chris, I'm a little bit of a, a hating on you. You play guitar <laughs> and you fucking play drums. Well, but, um, no, it's dope, man. It's good to see again everybody. Just because you 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 in one band doesn't mean you can't you know 
you can't keep putting music out and keep exercising and swinging your sword. You know what I mean? I love yeah. when people like music just keep dropping music. You know, I yeah. had a, I learned that later in life, but I learned. And when it's different, you know, and when it's like you said, it's got different color and different flavor than the previous thing, you know, because as much as I love hate breed, I also love, you know, yeah. Morrissey. Yeah, exactly. You'll never catch me doing something like that. I don't think, but exactly. you know what I'm saying? You know, like there's outside influences beyond just heavy music. You know, so to not be able to or to be able to be free of thinking that you can only play, you know, breakdown beats and yeah, exactly. fucking riffs, you know, it's nice. It's refreshing to see. So for sure. Yeah. Check them out. Total Meltdown NYHC at Bandcamp. And again, when you hear that, when you see that Bandcamp, just hit it and go, go get there and yeah. go represent. Shout out to Chris. You know, what's the deal? And yeah. I got hit up. But I seen these guys online. And first of all, I love for when I see, you know, how far the music scene is traveling, it's still amazing to me you know i got to play indonesia we've been in japan all that good stuff but man right here return the truth beijing hardcore when i see that i saw them i said first of all you know we got it the world is so small now it's amazing you know i mean yeah. this whole internet shit is a curse and it's a blessing but we would never run into this and, and look how far you know from 15 20 people on the low east side that started this movement how far yeah. it went and look at this this is real hardcore shit from beijing look at who would ever think beijing hardcore how crazy it's still so crazy with me man yeah it's funny you say that because when i was doing a little you know looking around on these i'd never heard of them <clears throat> so i did you know a little re research one and i watched a bunch of videos and it's really amazing to your point and I thought the same thing as I was watching these videos. It's like, this is in Beijing. And it looks like it could have been the, you know, the In Effect 91 video yeah. of an AF show or the Sick of It All set. You know, I mean, it was okay. that packed with people stage diving and moshing, just like, you know, American culture or whatever. And it's like, this is so just a global thing at this point. And it's yeah. really amazing how big it is definitely yeah and for sure obviously you know we've been going to japan for many years we know you know the music's been globally punk has been global yeah you know of course we know it's been around but when you hear you know very you, we've always ran into a couple people from singapore and now just to have these guys on the scene making yeah. a, put their flag in they got a brand new video out go check it out right now make sure you go hit them up the new single new video live to die Return, listen, return the truth, right? Beijing hardcore. Do you yeah. understand how crazy is that? Go check them out and hopefully they'll be on tour somewhere and you go support them. And hopefully we'll be hearing about a whole bunch of other bands springing up from freaking Beijing because yeah. um, basically what it means, you know, we all have family around the world, you know, when we have stuff like this, you know, people that we that share the same um, uh, like minded views and stuff without having to even say it out loud, you know, you kind of know what you get when you, yeah, when, when when you mess with a hardcore kid, you know what I mean? It's funny because I don't think there's many people that be like, oh, I got people in Beijing, exactly. or I got people in Tokyo, or I got people in Brisbane, and, Australia, and, 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 and exactly in Brisbane, and yeah. free a Dusseldorf, and you know, exactly. We We're are very spoiled in that in that regard of life. That anywhere, basically anywhere we touch down, we could pretty much be taken care of or take care of somebody or have a connection or have you know friends and family and whatever so shout out to hardcore for that man no exactly. doubt and i mean with that being said what better other way than to say like listen we are lucky to have what we got we and, yeah. and the people that are really proud are flying the flag and it's great to see a lot of the, 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 the music just evolving and it's good to see heavy music not only evolving but just being the part of the landscape, like everything else, pop yeah. music, reggae, and whatever. Um, we we in a good place. You know, shout out to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Again, you have to subscribe, repost, and all that. And again, shout out to Blackout Records. Screenshot this the, the Blackout ad on the show. Post it and tag us. You'll get a, get a free record. And I mean free. Yeah. Shout out to Blackout Records and everybody else who's been tuning in. Um, look out for a new podcast coming very, very soon. I told Busky who is going to be, it's going to be a good one. Trust me. So stay tuned, hit that link. It'll take you to where you got to go. Support the show, our bands, everything. Mad love to everybody out there. Busky before we out here. Any, what are you doing? Anything you want to let them know what's going on or any new projects, anything? 
nothing, man. Just doing some work and, you know, getting caught up on life. You know the deal. But uh, yeah. some stuff definitely coming up soon enough that, uh, you know, I, I definitely will be looking forward to. So and stay tuned. Yeah, we got some stuff to talk about. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm tuning in. The next time we get together, uh, we sh- I'm ho- I just talked to Cheeky. We're going to get Cheeky on. He could tell us. Give us a little demise update. We're gonna have a, we're gonna yeah. start bringing in um more guests to uh, pop in on the show and give us the live update straight from the the, the gorilla's mouth. So yes, one love. Shout out to everybody out there. The hard corner. Stay tuned. Look out for us. The smoking word podcast. All platforms. Smoke AD. We in the building. Busky. We out of here. One love. You know what time it is. Hey. Peace out.